Hey YouTube, well, wanted to do a video on the Hinder XM18 3.5 inch blade just got. Uh, you may have seen I did a previous video of the unboxing of the four Hinderers that I got. But I wanted to kind of go in and do a little more detail on this. And you know, first off, you know, I've been watching a lot of the different review videos and love them, but you know, certain ones like I really enjoyed uh, NYC Dave 212. And of course, uh, Cutlery Lover, Nothing Fancy, and uh, one guy that does some really good ones, um, and I think it's I Am uh, Boognish, something like that, but he, he does some good videos on a lot of the knives I like. But to start off, um, this right here, this is my new uh, Hinder XM18 3.5 inch blade, and on this I've got the carbon fiber carbon fiber scale on that really nice and um, what I'll do is I'll kind of go through and get some good detail shots on this one but uh, with the with the XM18 uh, three and a half inch some of the specs the overall length is 8.24 inches the closed length is 4.72 the blade length is 3.5 uh, the blade steel is the CTS-HXP and I, I guess there's like a D2 steel, all the properties are D2 but it's uh, resist corrosion. Um, the cutting edge on this uh, let's see is 3.15 the thickness is 0.165 so it's really it's a nice thick blade like a strider and the handle thickness is 0.515. Now I'm guessing that's on the on the side titanium slab there. But um, this is the Gen 3, and I guess the with the newer Gen 3s, uh, Hinder has moved a lot of their. Um, see if I can get this to focus. A lot of their uh, machine of even like the fasteners are these little bolts here. And you can see how these, instead of sticking up, they're now flat, which is really cool. But what I'll do is I'll go through and kind of do, see if I can hold this still and do kind of a macro. Oh, and I'm sorry, I didn't say, um, on this knife here, this is, this is actually bead blast as opposed to the stone washed. Um, really like the bead blast. You can see it's a nice, clean look. Um, and there you can see the CTS uh, XHP stamped on the blade. Uh, bead Blast, and then also I have on this one the Bead Blast uh, Titanium. Let's see if I can get a close up of this. And then for the other side. Yeah, I got I got this one. This is really kind of my EDC here. Got a lot of other EDCs, but I mean I just love the feel of the Hender XM18. The ergonomics, everything is just so nice. Big thick spacers back there. I mean this thing is a tank. And then look at the tip on that. And of course, the lockup. That's what I've, I've gotten so spoiled with the lockup on Strider and Hinderers. I mean, you have that just massive frame lock engaging, uh, no wiggle at all, just really solid. Beautiful blade, though. I mean, just. The machining on this thing. Beautiful. But there it is. Um, you know, a lot of people wonder, you know, with the hinder, you know, the price on them and how hard they are to get. Um, pricing on it really, really varies on one like this. Um, with the carbon fiber scales on this one, just the suggested retail 
is, I believe, 485. Um, but, you know, it also takes a couple years to get one, to get on a waiting list. So with this, I mean, a retail, I would say, no, excuse me, not retail, but kind of a second market, or non -mar non retail price, what you're really going to get it for from the secondary market on something like this, I would say more like seven, eight hundred dollars. Um, in in the group of uh, four knives, the or four hinders that I got in day before yesterday, I did sell one of them. Um, I uh, it's just four of them. I had the chance to get four, so I got them, and I sold one. I'm going to keep the other three. It's just these are so nice. But I've been wanting to get a um, Strider. Uh, SMF CC and I found you know the one I was wanting and so I got that love <laughs> striders as well you can tell there's my this was my SNG and then of course here's my SMF Lego thick one and then I've got a PT that's at the spa right now um, but with this you know $700 knife you know value really that's that's up to the person. I, I personally think it's worth it. Um, it's a great knife. Great knife. Um, and just how it fits in your hand is just really, really solid. But just wanted to do a review on this one. Love this knife. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.